So now we're on to track number eight, uh, number 13, which is Rocky Raccoon, lead vocals from McCartney. All right. Uh, track number 13, Rocky Raccoon. We're gonna get another fucking animal metaphor here. Now somewhere in the black mining hills of Dakota, there lived a young boy. What the fuck? <laughs> Fuck is this accent, bruh? Fucking... This fucking Paul McCartney sound like he from Liverpool, Tennessee. I stole that comment before from a DC fan. Comment, shout out to you DC fan. Uh... <laughs> Really do some heat from fucking Liverpool, Tennessee. What the fuck? Or Dakota, I guess. Now somewhere in the black mining hills of Dakota, there lived a young boy named Rock Raccoon. One day this woman ran off with another guy Hit young Rocky in the eye Rocky didn't like that He said, I'm gonna get that boy Oh, I like the voice, I'm not gonna like the voice here We're doing an American, good American accent here. Checked into his room, only to find Gideon's Bible. Yeah, it's kind of beautiful. I had a gun to shoot up the legs of him. What? Here. But 
he drew fast and sharp and rocky collapsed in the corner no rocky no it been it been shot oh no it been done by Dan no Rocky just died. What are you doing, McCartney? You evil bastard. Now the doctor came in, stinking of gin. Proceeded to lie on the table. He said, Rock, you met your match. Rock <laughs> said, Dog, it's only a scratch. And I'll be better. I'll be better, Dog, I soon. Super, super different track. I don't know how to feel about it. Rocky Raccoon. Alright, super different track. We got a very storytelling track about a fucking western. Paul McCartney sounded like he from Liverpool, Tennessee. Doing a weird American accent. I, I, I like the though. Uh, I don't know how much I would listen to that. <laughs> I don't know, I'm really conflicted on that track. I mean, it was kind of weird. Uh, once again, the uniqueness of every track. Third! tracks in. We're nearly the length of a normal Beatles album in. And every track has been so different and so unique. Like, no two tracks are really that interchangeable with each other at all. Um, like, at all. 
Like, it's fucking insane how much, how different this shit is. H1. Um, yeah, that was a weird track, though. I don't know if that one... I don't know, it was super creative, super creative. I don't know how much I liked it, but yeah, it was super creative.